another chapter about competition. Maybe you should uh, see the roadmap where we, we are. So you, you know this uh, very nice and complicated graph. Uh, what, what do we have here? Circular flow diagram, very good. And we, we already know a lot of things about how <coughs> consumers have their demand curve. What is behind the demand curve? We learn about willingness to pay or things like that. We know a lot of things about companies' decisions like cost curves and um, how they uh, decide how to allocate production factors. We learned about economies of scale, short run, long run, things like that. We know a lot of things about market equilibrium here. We even know some consequences of state intervention when the government is imposing taxes or price floors, price ceilings, things like that. What we still don't really know is the role or play by competition, okay? It means how many companies are there, what kind of products are they selling, and how they interact with, it, with each other. This is very important because the interaction of companies can have different situations. You can have a market like this. Yeah, you see there are only four suppliers, and each one is quite powerful, which means Every decision, for example, this company here decides to move a little bit in this direction. That company, so this is A, if A is moving a little bit like this, B will notice that, will feel it for sure. It's no way that B will not know that A is making a move. And the same will happen now if B goes in this direction. This is kind of competition. Or you can have something like that where there are a lot, a lot of small, 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 small companies. And if one company is making a, a small move here, I think this one will have no idea. This one will have no idea. So most of the companies will even not know if some will exit the market or some new will enter. There, there will be a very small change in the market conditions if this is happening. You can have the monopoly where there is only one big supplier, what will happen? What, what is uh, interesting when you have a monopoly, how is the situation for this company? Is it a nice situation or yeah. sad? Nice. It's a very nice company, okay. It's like, <coughs> imagine a, a castle in the middle of the desert. Yeah? Everybody is suffering, but the people from this castle are enjoying a nice life. Now, from the history or from the, I don't know, some kind of movies, uh, what do you think that will happen? So here are the unhappy subjects, and here is the castle that is enjoying prosperity. Uh, they have welfare, they have everything. What will happen? Yes, the barbarians, you know who the barbarians are, right? The barbarians will be at the gates. They will try to get a piece of it. So then what the monopoly must do in order to survive? Protect. protect what is needed to protect your barriers. barriers, exactly, very good. So when you have a monopoly, you need to have barriers because otherwise you will be always under siege. You know what a siege is, yeah? The, the others, they will try to conquer your position, to take your place, to take a piece of the cake because the cake is so good, delicious, exactly. That's the keyword, delicious. It's amazing to have, a pro, uh, to have a monopoly. What we are now studying is a monopolistic competition, which even uh, when we look at the name, monopolistic competition, it's already, I don't know, funny. It's not right, actually, to have these two words together, mono and competition. Can, can you have competition when we have one mono? When you compete with yourself. Sometimes you get second, right? <laughs> if you compete with yourself. <laughs> that, that's the key word here. What do you think it's called like this? Monopolistic competition. I mean, you told us where the, uh, Sorry? I think it's one. So it, it's here? It's the monopoly? No, 
exactly. It's monopoly versus barbarians? No. Then what, what is? Monopoly versus monopoly. Uh, monopoly versus monopoly. Yes. So there is another monopoly somewhere here. It's a virtual one because if it was for real, <laughs> there was no monopoly. Uh, come on, Amin. You said uh, restaurant chains as well as like... Ah, okay, restaurants. Different from each other, but still sort of... Uh, okay, so it's like a mix between these two. Yes. It's coming in between because you still have a lot of players, but what will be the key difference now? You, you have a lot of companies competing with each other. So there is competition. But what is different now from that competition? This uh, kind. The product is different. The product is different, exactly. So each company here tries to have its own small, small monopoly. Okay, so products are quite different. <coughs> now, why don't we have actually one monopoly? Why, why there is competition if you say each product is different? It's, it's like the restaurants, like uh, Emin said. Uh, we like to have a restaurant to open a new restaurant. We, we have this great idea. Now, we will try to be somehow different from the rest. So let's suppose we want to build a restaurant based on some, I don't know, what would be your idea, I mean, to, to be, sorry? Turkish? Food. Turkish food. Wow. Is this so exotic? Uh, yeah, we, we make what, a shawarma or... Uh, <laughs> Baklava, and uh, this will be completely new. <laughs> okay, very good. Uh, maybe we, we adapt, so we, we make shawarma without meat. We, we make it for vegeta vegetarians. So, so would you like to have a broccoli? Exactly, <laughs> something like broccoli shawarma. That, that's our choice. This is quite new. It's very different from uh, what uh, you can find. Why, why will, we, we cannot have like a monopoly. I would like to be the only supplier of food for Bucharest. <clears throat> Maybe our product is so successful that everybody will come and buy only from us. Is this feasible? No, you have substitutes. No. We have substitutes, you say. There is also a difference in people, I think. We can educate people. Don't you think so? We will make a lot of advertising showing them that eating meat is unhealthy, you kill poor animals. Uh, Diana? Other restaurants could steal the idea? Can steal the idea. Yeah, that could be a problem. <clears throat> what can we do against it? We should try to get a patent for it. Can we get a patent for some... Uh, Shower my recipes? Why not? It's not quite an innovation. It's not quite an innovation. Let's suppose we, we start to grow, okay? So we are quite successful. We don't get the patent, but we have the best cook in the world. And he's making some wonderful uh, shawarma dishes with broccoli and uh, spinach and... Uh, I don't know, potatoes. And we, we start to grow, which means we, we are quite significant. We, you can see us on the map. That means we are significant. If you, if you talk about good food in Bucharest, we will be on the short list, on top 10 or something like that. What will happen next? Do you think that we have a path to grow, to get the whole market? And if no, please give me a reason. Why is it not possible to really grow from this one restaurant, two restaurants, three restaurants, to be the dominant supplier in the city? Because people want to eat meat as well. Yeah, I know they make this mistake. But this should be connected with uh, Valentin's uh, idea. Even if people will not copy our idea, what's the difference between our restaurant and some true monopoly? Yeah, like, uh, I don't know, the tap water supply, the cooking gas supply, energy supply. What, what's the major difference here? But let's suppose we, we really grow and...
and we enjoy nice profits. Well, what will happen? Think about what I, I had here, the, the story with barbarians. Yeah. If the monopoly is enjoying high profits, other people will attack. They will try to take a piece of this delicious pie. Sabina. And other people can easily open restaurants. Exactly. What's, it's not difficult to open a restaurant. There are no barriers here. I mean, I cannot protect my market. If, if I'm in this industry, in uh, <clears throat> food and beverages industry, I'm just a restaurant, I really cannot protect it. I cannot stop other people from opening new restaurants. Why? Because it's, no, it's not so difficult to open a restaurant. Even if the others will not copy my idea, but there will be Italian restaurants, there will be French restaurants, there will be Lebanese restaurants, Romanian restaurants, Chinese, uh, Japanese, Korean, whatever. And they will always get a piece of the cake. They will eat my market share because they can do that. They, it's possible to do that. But I cannot take market share from the tap water supply market what well, the investment is uh, huge. If you want to go into this market, you'll have to make huge investment. And moreover, I could not even get the license because this is a natural monopoly. But for other things, I maybe get the I I could get the license. But still, there is the barrier there. Yeah, they will stop me from doing this. Okay. So now you you understand what is the monopolistic competition actually. You you have like a monopoly somehow which means up to a certain level, you will get profits like a monopoly. You will have a nice life up to a certain point. And then the barbarians will come and will take your profits away because you cannot protect that. There is no barrier, strong barrier to stop them. 